my dream was to be a painter and live in the mountains. So when I was teaching out in Oregon in the summers, I had found um, this little mountain town in Colorado, Creed, Colorado, and uh, it was magical to me. I um, would come back in the summer at the time. It was a booming mining town, but there was no tourism. So I ended up renting a building right on Main Street. Everything else was boarded up and I started a gallery. Anyway, um, 50 years later, I'm still here. You know, this place has uh, more than a lifetime worth of painting. And when I first moved up here, I thought, you know, after I paint North Clear Creek Falls, the Rio Grande River, Snowshoe Mountain, Bristol Head, the mines, then what am I going to paint? And 50 years later, I'm finding that there is an urgency because I don't have enough time. And what I found is that it's not that the subject changing so much, but I'm changing every year. And so what inspired me first uh, is not what I'm seeing now. In the summer, I do a lot of hiking and backpacking and take my uh, do watercolor and gouache studies on location. And I don't go out looking for a subject. I let the subject find me. And that's when usually the best things happen. I just uh, get in a rhythm, kind of in an alpha state. All of a sudden, the light hits a certain area. I turn a, to that area, and there's the painting. So then I stop, and I'll sketch, and I'll make notes, and come back and do color studies in the studio, and, and then uh, usually work on a pretty large piece. Well, recently I've been working on some paintings of this little creek that I found in the high country. And the beautiful thing about this creek, as opposed to all the others, is that it has its own environment. It has all this moss and foliage. It almost looks like you're in the rainforest of or Oregon. And so I've been going up there and sketching and photographing and getting ideas and then uh, coming back and working in my studio. And uh, I found that this uh, surface of aquaboard is really ideal for this particular subject because I can take it a lot of different directions and uh, just get expression that I really couldn't get any other way. When I'm working with aquaboard, I just love the velvety quality, the way it uh, takes that uh, paint and absorbs into it the beautiful layering. Uh, and I've found ways to lift back with acrylic that normally you can't do on a paper. And uh, eventually when I'm finished, I can, uh, I can frame this without glass. So one of the things I really like is that when I uh, glaze down to a deeper gray or a dark, I can come back with rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip or a rag and massage and lift that color until it's back to the white surface and then I'll just wash that off and then I can glaze a transparent color, say like a magenta. And so I get that luminosity of the transparent, the light penetrating through the paint to the white and back to the eye versus the opaque where the light bounces directly off the paint. My philosophy is, is basically I'm a nature painter and I'm inspired by nature. And what I want to do, rather than just painting a scene, I want to find the way that it uh, connects with me. And so I want to get beneath the surface. Uh, with my pieces, I want to uh, feel the energy and the light and the sounds and the smells that you get with nature. <laughs>